approximately five years ago, Klaus Dona and I were uh, contacted by a group of people that represented a simple farmer from uh, Mexico that had found a large collection of artifacts in a cave on his land. The artifacts were very unusual as they portrayed very specific uh, scenes that involved um, uh, solar systems, extraterrestrial crafts, what people typically call UFOs, and the UFOs were very well defined. They were not subject to interpretation. They were easy to identify. Um, my tendency was to think that these were hoax, maybe made by that farmer and so on. But the sheer number, uh, meaning there was like over 2,000 pieces, um, like, it didn't make it very feasible for a poor farmer in the middle of Mexico to start uh, making these pieces. The other thing is that many of the pieces are uh, inlaid with, um, with precious stones like diamonds and gold. Makes it very unlikely for a poor uh, farmer in the middle of Mexico to all of a sudden create such a huge uh, production of hoax. Most of the pieces are out of stone, so there was no way for me to do carbon dating on it and so on. It was not obvious until one day I realized that some of these masks are made out of um, their composites. Um, there are, of course, inlays of all these different stones, and so they must be adhesive uh, to glue the, all these things together. And I thought maybe the adhesive has organic material in it that we could carbon date, and that's what I did. And uh, it was very startling because the result came in at 6,210 plus or minus uh, uh, 45. Uh, years, um, you know, uh, uh, BP, which is about 5,300 BC, uh, which like predates the Mayan culture uh, dramatically. Um, then we decide to do at least two more pieces so this mask here was done as well. And this big head, this alien big head uh, was tested as well. And that was even most uh, more amazing. Uh, the dating came back at 14,215 years plus and minus 60. We've got all the pieces out, some of the pieces out, there's more pieces coming. We're gonna get the microscope and start sorting the pieces out and figuring out which one can be tested and what kind of information we can extract. So far we found one sample of organic material that seemed to be part of one of the adhesive on one of the pieces. And, um, you know, a lot of different data that we're going to be able to analyze in the next few weeks and so on. So it's a good start and uh, we'll keep you posted on the rest of the stuff. Oh, Doing yes. the science appropriately on those pieces, if it's confirmed, completely changed uh, our concept of history and what has happened on our planet. So it's, it's really critical. I really appreciate that you're uh, willing uh, to uh, do the, the, good, the right thing and get the science done. Yes. Yeah. So, Let's get a team together and okay. get out there and do it. Okay. Sounds good? I look forward to it. Thank you so much. Thank you.